What's up, you chocolate fucks? It's your boy, Dark Arku here with What If uh, Issei Unlock a uh, something. Well, not unlock. Uh, yeah, wait, oh shit. Let me see. I got back up. Uh, I just did uh, wake up. Sorry about that. So, uh, let me say that again. What if Issei unlock something powerful? Like, he just straight up unlocked it. Uh, but before we go into that story. So, he is going to unlock a dragon that is not the trick and is going to be kind of more powerful than the dragon DDD. Not the point. And mostly, let me explain. Uh, let me explain a system that I kind of, well, got the idea and kind of created somewhat. So, uh, mostly I did take it. Well, not did take it. Mostly it's kind of been my own idea for a while. I was like, God damn it, fucking bad. Uh, but mostly... Pretty much what the system is, is pretty much a dragon ranks. In my opinion, how I look at how dragons are powerful from ranks to that. So, there is the dragon queen, the dragon queen of our dragons. Then there's uh, her son, the dragon prince. There would be mostly the dragon knight, or mostly considered from different ranks, from uh, low to elite. Um, there is the dragon monarchs. There's also the dragon, well, mostly the... Elder ancient dragons who are pretty much just dragons that have the power of both an aura and an element, a specific element they use. Like pretty much they cannot use another different element. The element that they picked or choose or they were born with is the element that they can only use. And they train for so long that they basically perfect that element to like its best core. Also, they do have an aura that mostly isn't like domination or any of that. The, uh, the aura of that element, that Pacific element. It cannot be an aura like a affinity or something like that, similar to that of like a dragon god. Dragon gods are those who have already unlocked their aura and has mastered it. But they, uh, they don't use a Pacific element. They use any type of element most of the time. They can straight up just be using, uh, what's it called? Mostly... Well, they can be using uh, just straight up their infinity or whatever, imagination, abyss, you get the point. But yeah, also there's the dragon system from the whole, mostly DXD world, but yeah. There's the, uh, what's it called, the heavenly dragons that almost reach what's it called, the dragon god level. Which they unlock their aura, but they are not that powerful. But they just got sealed away, so I mean, yeah. Then there's the dragon kings, who, yeah, there's five dragon kings. They have their aura, but they're not that powerful, except for Tiamat, who almost reaches the same level as is a cop, D Drake and Albion. Then there'll be the lower dragons, you get the point. Now, with the different kind of dragon system that they make right here, uh, pretty much the dragon queen and dragon prince are not going to be in the story most of the time. And if they were, they would have probably destroyed the earth 20 billion no, 20, more like 20 billion trillion fucking times if they actually touch the earth. But not the point. That will be in a separate fanfic, or not separate fanfic. Mostly, I might create a fanfic about mostly the world I kind of imagine. It's co it's going to be called, uh, mostly how superheroes are corrupted. Um, I don't know what to call the fanfic. But yeah, I have the idea, I have the, how mostly the story might go. But I don't know if I should create it or not because my fucking story making is trash. I'm using Grammarly to try to fix that. And I'm also trying to use one of my friends from school. Well, not use him, mostly just ask him to help me out. Just so I don't look like an idiot half the time when I'm making stories. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that's kind of my imagination is not the problem. It's just my writing and trying to make the story perfect enough for people to understand is the problem but yeah do i do fanfics more often than normal no not really i do kind of create some fanfics when i'm straight up just bored but i know they're got them trash and no one wants to kind of read them but some people which is surprising there's like uh most of the lowest number that i have seen people read one fanfic was like 40 i'm surprised but or they're just kind of saved or something. Uh, not the point. Sorry about rambling on. But mostly, let me go into this. What if? Let me shut the fuck up. There's no fact fake about this. Now fuck you. I mean, if you consider me asking a bot, 
about some of the creation of mostly the different images and arts and asking for the different abilities. So yeah. Also, I should mention one thing. These swords up here are going to be Zompak Toast swords. So pretty much this is going to be the first basic Shika release and Banka release. So yeah, if you're wondering about those swords, they're also going to be Zompak Toast, who are going to be a part of this dragon. Now, let me kind of say one thing. Dragon different uh, is not Diedrich. Also, Issei is not going to have Diedrich. So yeah. So other than that, let me begin with what? Uh, let me shut the fuck up about random shit, okay? So yeah, it's been almost like almost like five days since I didn't record anything on my first channel. Which sorry, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> but other than that, let's begin into this what if. So we go into mostly well. <laughs> what? Let me say that again. We go into mostly a child who right now is looking at a picture of dragons. Instead of being scared, he's actually right now having stars and amazement. He actually always loves mostly looking at dragons. Pictures of them, like drawings, movies, images. He just always loves how they look. They look so majestic and so strong. So powerful enough to wipe out anyone that tries to bother them. He always wanted to be like a half dragon or whatever, or maybe like a dragon, a dragon with wings. He always loved the color crimson red most of the time, but mostly he would never be able to do something like that because he's human. Well, yeah. This is where, well, mostly he just loves doing that, just watching the dragons. He does have his brownish hair, his iconic brownish hair and brownish eyes. But of course, his parents kind of do cut his hair short, even though he wants to kind of grow it out a little bit longer than having it just like this short, spiky kind of style. He kind of gets always annoyed at the short, spiky style, but yeah, he doesn't really care. He did used to play with his friend named, uh, well, Iron, who was actually named Irina, but not the point. This is where, well, he's over here kind of just like right now talking to his parents and how he loves dragons a lot. He also has a plushy dragon at home. And some other things. But this is where, well, he's also playing the game uh, Sky Dragon. Don't worry about that. <laughs> yes, he does have some video games. Some of them are kind of dragons. Blah, blah, blah. Don't worry about that. This is where, well, mostly he's also kind of, well, quite uh, talkative of dragons. He actually kind of searched them up. Even though he's a kid, he still kind of reads upon mostly dragon books. Um, the most books that he kind of read on dragons would be like Half Dragon Transformation. Well, mm, if I can remember what the book was called, but yeah. So, I can't really remember the name, but let me just begin into this, what, whatever. So this is where, well, mostly after such a long time, he was kind of, well, let's go into a, a time skip of him being 16 years old now. So, of course, what, well, mostly when he's 16, he went to a school named Co Academy. And, of course, where, well, mostly after when he was kind of a kind of first year, he was going to become a second year after summer, but mostly something happened. He went into a vacation, well, a vacation time with his parents to kind of go to a very relaxing island place, but mostly that kind of went wrong and uh, something happened. Now, this is where, well, we begin into the storyline. This is where, well, mostly a kind of darkish kind of hair, brown hair kid actually walking through the school. He has highlights of red, and of course his hair looks to be longer. This is where, well, his eyes are kind of a greenish color for a second, but of course they became a reddish color sometimes. This is where, well, mostly he is walking through the school. Of course I'm straight up wearing the school uniform. He's wearing black sweats, black boots, and straight up just like this like reddish coat that kind of has like this flaming symbol on the back. Doesn't look like a dragon, it kind of looks like a phoenix for a second, but yeah. Well, a dragon with a phoenix, which is confusing, but yeah. But straight up, he's walking through school. He also has a black button-up shirt and some other accessories, like a belt, necklace. Yeah, you get the point. Those where, well, mostly with that happening, um, I didn't add the other image, okay, whatever. Uh, but of course, with that happening, mostly he kind of walks straight, mostly from the school gates and just walking just straight to his class. This is where lots of people are whispering and saying, who's he? What the? He, he's new. This is where, well, lots of people have not recognized who exactly this person is. 
This is where, well, lots of girls are right now kind of saying he's quite mysterious. This is where, well, so many people are just going wild. The guys are glaring at the new pretty boy while the girls are right now having hearts in their eyes actually wanting to talk to the guy. But this is where, well, we'll see. The person just doesn't seem to want to talk to any girl or anyone in general. But of course, the weren't well. The two perverted kind of duo are still causing trouble. But of course, they were about to like use the new student as a kind of sacrifice. But instead of doing that, this is where the kid or the unknown person sees them and literally grab both their arms because they were about to like try to grab him. Grab both their arms and fucking uh, mostly like swipe kick both of their legs right now, making them fall to the ground and getting smashed to the uh, well ground. So it kind of looks like this. Let me show you. So while with that happening, this is where well mostly easy. I can't really find the kind of well, mostly video to show you guys, but yeah, kind of didn't save it like an idiot. Fuck sex. But this is where well mostly this is where well easy kind of just knocked them both out, and this is where well mostly the kid kind of the new mysterious person just kind of like drops them uh, both down to the ground, and this is where when he looks up, he sees well mostly some girl named Moriyama and the other girl named Catherine. This is where, well, both of them are happy that they finally got the two perverts. And, of course, they're both knocked the hell out pretty bad. For the fact that the new kid actually stopped him. He only glanced at them once and didn't care at all. Not even once. Well, he did glance at them once and just didn't care again to look at them. He, he thought they were ugly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But this is where, well, mostly, well, his eyes just kind of just, like, goes back to mostly school. Well, back to the entrance of school and just walks to it. This went well, a whole kind of like mostly day of just rumors spraying around how mostly this new student is not a pervert. This new student can be the second prince of Google. This new student, blah, 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 blah. There were just so many rumors that the person did not actually care. The reason why he didn't give a damn about the rumors is earbuds. Yeah, he was hearing music the whole damn time. The song he was carrying is called this. You can be a fire starter. Yeah, that's what it's true. Pretty much, he's hearing that song and, of course, not really caring about anyone else in the school, but yeah. So, while mostly everyone from mostly the school is just shocked, rumors, and everything spring adding like fucking wildfire. Literally, this person said, like, no, I'm just kidding. But this is where, well, mostly we go into a time skip of, well, well, class. It's time for class. And a lot of people are actually hoping for the new student to be in their class. Some people think that he's a first year. Some people think that he's a third year. No one actually expects that he's either a freaking, uh, what's it called? Well, second year. Until he proves him all fucking wrong because he walked into the classroom that he needs to go. This is where, well, mostly he hasn't really been here for a week because it's been, well, summer ended like about a week ago. So, yeah, he has just returned like a week ago. Or not a week ago, this week. But, yeah, this is where, well... Mostly everyone is confused, thinking, who is this guy? Did he just got transferred just recently? Blah, 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 blah. Why did he get transferred? This is where, well, mostly just so many questions. This is where he walks into most of the class that mostly Morahama, Matsuda, Catherine, Moriyama, and a bunch of other second years are going to be there. This is where, well, mostly some second years who actually just got here about like a week ago. They just started like the same day with like the other students. Yeah, this where, well, both uh, Masuda and, was it called, Morahama glares at the person because they were shocked first and right now annoyed because he was the reason why they got knocked the fuck out and then got the fucking stuffing beat out of them. Yeah, that was not fun for them. This is where, well, mostly the teachers say, uh, who, uh, you must be the new student that got just transferred. No, I'm just a student that just was here last year. Uh, are you sure about it? The teacher is confused. She's kind of blushing because mostly of how he looks like. This is where, well, she then says, uh, can I know your name? Yeah, you say Hyoto. This is where, well, when every other girl and guy hears this, what? Some of the girls who actually did get transferred just confused and looking, huh? This is where, well, right now Matsuda and Morahama explode and say, Issei, you son of a bitch, you did this to us. This is where, well, Issei looks at them, flips them off, and then looks back at the teacher saying, so yeah, his name is Issei Hyoto. Okay, um, well, okay. So yes, you're here. You'll be sitting over there next to Morahama and Matsuda, but I think it's not a good idea to sit you there. So I might just change you to sit behind. I can sit whatever, right? 
But I have an assigned seat. I'm going to sit in the back. I don't like talking to anyone. And I don't like being anywhere near people. The teacher said, oh, okay. This is where, well, EC looks like straight up a delinquent. Straight up like a Yakuza boss. This man looks threatening as hell. This is where both Matsuda and Motohama tries to attack him. And that didn't work out too well because Issei grabs one from the arm, twisted it, and almost snaps it because you hear a bone pop. This is where oh, Matsuda feels in pain while Mosi Motohama tries to attack Issei. But this is where Issei grabs him, yeets him out the window. Like the window was open. Yeet. This is where Matsuda says, Help! Help! You're not Matsuda. Motohama says, Help! 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 I'm going to die. Help me, Matsuda. Matsuda says, Damn it! He tries to grab him with one arm, tries to put him back in. Everyone is just shocked. You see, literally, just almost kill his friends. Well, ex friends, because he seems not to care even one bit. This is where, well, we'll see. Still, the rumors are still exploding, and of course, they explode more when people start texting who exactly the new student is. His name is Issey Hiro. Some who don't even know who exactly Issey Hiro is, and some that do from the first years. They know who exactly he is, and they're shocked that the new student is Issei, and he looks completely different. He looks like he changed. He's seen some shit. This is where, well, mostly, uh, we go into Issei kind of going throughout his, like, mostly second, third, fourth hours. Before getting called up to the office by Sona, because, well, Sona wasn't informed that Issei was going to change and make a whole panic into the school. Issei shows up. And says, what do you want? This one, well, Sona says, <clears throat> Hello, Issei. Um, so, I only call you up here, not just because you just, just caused a panic in the whole entire school by your new looks, but from your school uniform. Where is it? I can't fit into it no more. What do you mean you can't fit into it? I'm six feet. <laughs> this is where Issei wants to just snap on her. Just because she's actually quite annoying. She's always so fucking rude, snappy, and always not respectful to him, but yeah. This is where, oh, she says, so, you're six feet. I was seven, uh -uh. I was five, seven last year, you know, before summer appeared. Now I'm six feet. I had a fucking outburst, or, uh, you get the point. Mostly, I grew up a couple four more fucking inches. Also, no, I'm not wearing that. Hell no, I don't give a damn if you suspend me or not. You think I'm gonna be wearing a school uniform that pissed me off? No, not really. Actually, I'm trying to get enrolled into a public school so I can actually not wear the uniform just because it pissed me off. I look stupid in it. Also, yeah, fuck off. This is where, well, mostly Sona was shocked with Issei's words. Like, he, he is completely different. His aura, his attitude, his... Just aura. His aura is actually quite different. Instead of having the same kind of human aura, is much more malicious and stronger than normal, making her believe that Issei might awaken a sacred gift. This where, well, she actually questions if Issei knows about the supernatural. Issei says, "The super what? The fuck is that? Are you? I actually have heard of this." Sona says, "You have? Yes. Isn't that that TV show from the American shows about the supernatural?" You know, with those two characters, he names out the two characters. Sona drops down to swear. Sona says, no, I'm not talking about that. Okay, it must be a different show. No, I'm not talking about a different show. Sona just screams out Issei's name. Issei says, then what are you talking about? Issei narrows his eyes at her. Uh, well, I'm talking about... <sighs> I'm talking about if you have heard about the supernatural in real life. Supernatural in real life. Hmm... Are you sure you're not talking about some VR headset? This is where also Sona says, No, I'm not. <laughs> this is where, well, she is shocked to know that Issei has no clue about the supernatural. But with his new looks, it's kind of clear that he might know a bit about the supernatural just playing with her. This is where, well, she sighs and says, Fine, fine, fine. Okay, so if you don't know anything about the supernatural, then you're free to leave. Okay. Issei walks out. But this is where, well, the magic, well, mostly the door stopped him because mostly there was a magic circle in it. And this is where, well, Issei says, why can't I leave? Issei question out, kind of curious. But Issei knows already what's happening. Sona's trying to make sure that he uses his magic or whatever. This is where, well, mostly Issei's not using his magic because he just doesn't seem to care about it. Sona, Sona says, oh, uh, must be something 
stuck with the door. Don't worry, I call someone. He says, says, no need to call someone. He said, kicks the door down. <laughs> this is where, oh, he says, says I finish it. Uh, well, I will finally open it. Other than that, I'm going to class. So I was just shocked. She was hoping that he uses magic out of frustration or anger. Or awaken his sacred gear. No, he's too, uh, well, mostly relaxed. Really too relaxed. To the point that he doesn't seem to care too much. Whatever he does, he just doesn't seem to care. It's like a free wild dragon. A dragon that experienced freedom to the mostly fullest. This is where, well, mostly he says kind of yawning. This is where, well, someone in his head right now talks. Hey, kid. Huh? Oh. Um. This is where, well, mostly, uh, he says, says oh, pro class, you're here. This is where, well, <clears throat> the now known as pro class kind of says, is pro class. Ember Welder. God damn it. Okay, fine. You, you don't need to say my full fucking name. But not the point. Tell me. What are you going to be doing now? Since you're back to this world. The human world somewhat. And now you have a different look. And devils are now trying to see if you have any sacred gear. A so-called sacred gear. Well. First of all. If the devils tried to pick a fight with me. I'm one-shotting every single one of them. And, um, pretty much I'm back to the human world because I'm bored, okay? I've been in the dragon dimension for a while. And the only dragons that can actually put up a fight with me are, well, other half-dragons. But, yeah. <clears throat> also, kid, I wanted to tell you something. Yeah, what's that? Make sure to not let your guard down in this school. There is something that I'm feeling that I cannot understand but i understand one thing it's an enemy an enemy similar to the dragon race you can say what are you talking about a leviathan Sarah, sona no i'm not talking about sonas even though she's related to the uh, well one of the current mouse Le uh, leviathan server i'm not talking about her no someone much more powerful and can actually rival any well dragon god <coughs> Interesting. So this serpent is a high-ranking serpent. Yes. Oh, God, God damn it. I don't even want to deal with the serpents right now. Well, you're going to have to. In the Pacific aura that I'm feeling it from is... Well, a certain girl. A certain girl that was in your classroom. Which one? Not the pinkish hair girl. The one that was next to it. Moriyama? Yes. Her aura is different. This is where... Well, it's not, or, it's not the same aura like human attack. Or the same, uh, or like human with sacred gears, or half humans. <clears throat> you have humans with whatever. She has a very interesting power in her, and it's definitely related to a serpent. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. What serpent do you think she will have? It could either be my longtime rival, or it can be someone else. It could be someone part of that person's family. Uh, which rival are you talking about? Don't you have multiple rivals throughout your wise time as a, well, ancient elder dragon? Well, I didn't get the title just yet, but when I was younger, yes, I had multiple rivals that really wanted to piss me off for no reason. <clears throat> and who were they? First, the two dragons that were pissing me off that annoyed the fuck out of me most, especially one of them because he copied my flame somewhat. Motherfucker, I'm gonna drop kick him when I find him. Okay, sheesh, calm down. Uh, pro, uh, what's it called? Pro class? This is where, well, pro class is, yeah, 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 yeah. The two dragons I'm talking about that are only stuck below me, like literally two ranks below me, are the heavenly dragons in hell. It's, well, it's heavenly dragons themselves. D Drake and even what's it called? Albion. Those two are annoying as shit to me. Albion wanted to pick a fight with me, but I kicked his ass to the nine rounds of hell to shut him the fuck up. I even had to rip off one of his wings and say, if you don't leave me the fuck alone, I'll rip off the other one. And then there was Diedrich. Diedrich was using the same similar flames as mine, but they were domination. They were like a greenish red, which I, it still pissed me off because I don't like people use my reddish color flames. Okay, yes, I know that too much. But do you really? Yes, I do. God, calm down. Okay, but yeah, 
pretty much I also beat the shit out of Diedrich, showing him that his power is no match for mine, because I actually took control of his own flames and launched it straight to his body. Son of a bitch can go fuck off. Okay, damn, you really don't like Diedrich. No, I don't. This is where a dragon raged out. I fucking hate that stupid fucking red leather son of a... This is where... Well, you can hear all those cussers. This is where... Well, you say, Jesus Christ, man. Calm down. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Fine, I'm calm. Who else was your rival? There was also a wolf that was named Finro that I had a fight with. I kicked his ass also. Legendary dragon, uh, well not dragon slayer, mostly god slayer fucking wolf can go piss off. Okay, damn, you really do not like a lot of people. No, because that bastard bite my arm and it was fucking painful before I punch him right in the face and decide to fucking grab his tail and was about to think of ripping it like a mother. This is where, well, mostly used to say, Jesus Christ, calm down. You really do not like these people. No. Now, there was a couple people that I did like. They weren't too annoying, but yeah, you get the point. So, who was this rival? The serpent was known as... This is where, well, mostly, he said, say, yeah, the serpent was named as... I can't remember. The fuck you mean you can't remember? I can't remember. He said, oh my god, you suck. Well, shut the fuck up, little brat. Just make sure to stay away from that girl. If she attacks you... You don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Well, since my flames are strong enough to burn even through water, I'm going to not mess with her, but I still don't like that many people. Exactly. Now let's go, Brat. Before we somehow attract, well, either fucking, uh, well, we either attract the dragon gods himself, and if they do happen to appear, then I will appear to kick their ass. Let's see. What, what are the two... Two pair of dragon gods right now. There is Orphis, the dragon goddess of infinity. Is she a goddess or a god? Uh, no one can really tell because she's usually in a female form most of the time. I see. Now, then there's also, well, Great Red. Which, fuck him about his copy my... Okay, god, you do not like people taking your scale color. Well, no, I don't care about the scale color. I just don't like people using my flames. Right in front of my face. And a very shitty bootleg version of my flames. Because a lot of dragons seem to try to copy me most of the time. Isn't that just because they just born with the fire element? They can always change. When they're a young dragon couple, they can always change their element. They're not always just born into it. Newer dragons can always change their element. By either eating that specific element or yeah. This is where, well, we'll see. He say not it. But there is some very talented dragons that are usually born with fire. And some of them are usually born with some kind of rare defect to the fire. Like depression flames. What the fuck are those? You do not need to worry. I fought an evil dragon like that and he was kind of a pain in the ass. There was also that one dragon slayer named Agar Agarchar. So like something like that. Yeah, that man tried to kill me. No, I fucking beat his ass to the ground. Stupid son of a bitch. Okay, damn, you do not like people. Yes, he say, I do not like that many dragons. I might be an ancient elder dragon who can even rival those of the dragon gods right now with just my current 50% of power. But, I'm not going to just go pick a fight with him. I am almost an ancient and an elder dragon who is wise with the well, years of experience. If I had to pick a fight with someone, I would pick a fight with mostly the dragon god of the abyss, who, which I have not seen for a while. And the only reason why I pick a fight with him is because, well, both of the both of us will actually understand to the very end and who actually won in that battle. Probably. Mostly from the first beginning attack. We would not try to kill each other in anything like savage beasts. We're not the, stu uh, we're not the two stupid heavily dragons themselves. Which, I'm not going to lie, I can't believe they're fighting through even centuries in this human world. Which pissed me off. Now, if we find them, I'm going to find Adric and I want you to beat the living shit out of his goddamn user. And grab him out of that damn sacred gear and bring his ass into your body and then start letting me fucking well on him. This is where, oh, he says, okay, Jesus Christ, you really do not like Diedrich. 
No. It's not just because of what's it called. It's not just because of his stupid uh, well, we'll see, imitation of my flames. But also the fact that he's really hurting human lives for mostly his entertainment to fight against a white one. Now, that also reminds me, if you find the white one, go find it and beat the shit of it. This is where, well, we'll see, see, okay, you really do not fuck with them at all. No. They piss me off. Why is that? Because I did have, well, we'll see, uh, seen mostly how some of my cuddlings managed to kind of meet up with the previous users of, well, mostly, the red or white, and usually the red or white was corrupted by their power. Their immense amount of power. Which I do not know why the Bible God decides to, well, put the two dragons into a sacred gear when he could have just sealed them away, just permanently. Which I would not mind, because I would have done the same. I would have sealed them permanently somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> now, that also reminds me. If the bio, if the god of Bible of any of the gods ever decide to get to the dragon dimension, you know what to do. Uh, what is that? Well, that is easy. Go ask one of the dragon monarchs to wipe them out. Ooh, right. I forgot that dragon monarchs are the only others that can outrank me. Dragon monarchs, dragon knights, and even the dragon queen herself and his and her child. Shit. Yeah, I know. Jesus Christ, I have met the prince, and I mean, he's not much of a prick, unlike mostly nobles you would think about. He's actually quite chill and cool. Yeah, the prince doesn't act like a noble half the time. He usually acts more like, like if he was just a normal, another person out there, acting someone like an assassin. Someone. He always had the great idea to act like an assassin. Don't know why, don't don't really care. Sometimes he acts kind of tricky and manipulated a little bit, but that's just mostly the character characteristic that he has. He's not too manipulated, but yeah, you get the point. He's sometimes bored, really bored. <clears throat> and it's a good idea not to invite him to the human world. Wait, why? You know why? If the Dragon Gods knows about the Prince Arrival, the... Two dragon guns about to get fucked because if they try to piss off, well, either you or they try to bother you, the prince might beat the shit out of both of them, killing them at once. Shit, you're right. Yeah, exactly. I'm always right. If the prince finds out, the prince is going to wipe them out. The prince is almost the same power as his mother, but not that much. He's actually close to that of an ancient well, elder dragon. Yeah, because of its age? No, because of its use of darkness and lightning. Oh. Oh, that's that's impressive. Exactly. His lightning is so good that he's basically able to rival that of the ancient dragon elder for the lightning style. Even the thunder users. But yeah. Uh, but of course the darkness is not entirely his, but a demon's. But yet he has a very good connection with the demon. Then again, the lightning that he uses is also from an ancient elder dragon that he managed to master and actually became friends with that dragon. But yeah. <clears throat> this is where Issei has a question. About the prince, why doesn't he use his actual own magic? His prince dragon magic? That's because it says he takes way too much energy for it. That's also because probably because he's always in a human body half the time. Well, someone in a human body. He does have the physical status like a dragon, but he doesn't really use it too much. He usually wants to take a challenge, have a challenge, have a fun battle. Yeah, that's mostly how every dragon is. But yeah, something that interests him most of the time, he might geek, he might geek out half the time. He, right, I forgot about that. He is kind of too much of a geek half the time. Yeah, but don't say that straight to his face. Because he might not care, actually. Now that I think about it. If you talk about like some kind of interesting thing from the human world, like anime or fucking video games to him, he's geeking out somewhat. Yeah, I should probably know that. But other than that, he is a powerful warrior who actually believes that he's a warrior, like an assassin warrior. But his mother refuses to let him be an assassin warrior or a warrior entirely and actually try to make him to actual proper prince. That's not happening most of the time. He's kind of rebellious. Even at his young age, he's quite rebellious. Hmm. Go figure. Well, he is kind of acting like a human teenager or someone. Yeah, you're always so rebellious as hell. Fuck you, Issei said. 
Now, other than that, we should probably make sure to keep walking and looking like we're not talking to each other. Or you talking to yourself like a crazy motherfucker. He says, it. oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for the warning. It's not like everyone else thinks I'm fucking crazy in this school anyway. Hey, come on. Don't be like that. There should be a couple girls that don't think you're crazy. Fuck you about that. This is where we'll see, uh, what's it called? We'll see. Pro class is laughing at EC while well, mostly EC walks away. But this is where someone with kind of like brownish hair, she has kind of brownish bangs near her two, um, mostly to the right or side, uh, left side, two kind of ponytails at the back, being right or left. What's the word? Well, her brownish hair seems to kind of glow a bit of white into the light. And this is where her eyes seem to be a brownish color, like a honey brown color, before changing to a very crystallized blue color. This is where, well, mostly she sighs and saying, is that him? This is where, well, she kind of whispers into her head. <clears throat> someone in her head right now, like a deep female, uh, kind of like, someone feminine voice kind of said, yes, that is him. Should be careful. Be careful. Moriyama. Do not antagonize him. This is where, well... We'll see Marion scoffs and says, don't worry, I'm not an idiot to go antagonize him. If he's really this powerful warrior you're talking about, the one who actually was the only one else to rival you in power, then I should be careful. He did rival me in power when we were kind of teenager kids. Now that I am an eldritch uh, serpent, I really do not know if he's still so powerful. I do know that he reached the ranks of, well, mostly elder, well, mostly ancient elder dragons. I do not know if he was able to grow any more powerful. This is where, well, mostly Mariama smiles and says, do not worry. I'll be careful around Issei. I'll be careful around his power and aura. I'll be careful with everything. You don't need to worry about me. I'm just, you're the best user I have. I really like you so much, and I refuse to let you get hurt by anyone, especially those two arrogant dragons that think that they're the strongest, heavy dragons ever. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like even a ranking lower serpent can easily kick the shit of them. This is where, well, we'll see more of much and say, come on, you don't need to really start arguing about those two. Hmm, I'm just saying, be careful. This where, well, we'll see, well, Moriyama says, I'll be careful, don't worry. This is where, well, Issa says, what are you doing here, Moriyama? Moriyama, right now, jumps and says, eh, eh. This is where, well, we'll see, it wasn't, uh, Issa. It was actually, was a call, uh, Kiba. Kiba says, what are you doing here, uh, Moriyama? Or, miss, this is where, well, we'll see, Moriyama jumps and says, eh, sorry. I was just looking around for something, and then I thought I lost it. This is where Kiba smiles and says, okay, do you want me to help you? Moriyama says, no, 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 I'm fine. <laughs> this is where, well, we'll see the serpent inside uh, Moriyama's head says, well, trying to, well, say that you are a great liar is an understatement. Moriyama says, shut up, I really couldn't think of anything. And yet you're going after the pretty boy who's a devil. No, I'm not going after him. Catherine thinks that he's cute, but she doesn't think it would be a good idea to date him because she knows that he's a devil. Yeah, but that is true. And it's better to keep our power low so the devils don't actually think to recruiting us. And if that happens, I'll kill them all. I'll kill every single devil there exists. This probably also goes for Mosi, um, with my rival. If his host ever becomes a devil, he is going in a while. <laughs> this is where, well, mostly Mariama switch up and says, You call him a rival, but you really are more interested to him than ever. Are you sure you're not yeah, some kind of yandere? This is where, well, we'll see her stuff and say, she scoffs and says, I'm not some yandere that will follow him wherever he's at. Then what are we doing right now? <clears throat> Making sure that he's the right person. For your yandere tendencies? Fuck you. This is where, well, the serpent right now disconnects. This is where, well, we'll see Mariama swatch off in size. This is where, well, we'll see Mariama say, God damn it, this is where she says the serpent's name being. Her name was Cerulean Skydrifter. This is where, well, we'll see. 
<laughs> What's it called? Um, Moriyama says, God damn it. Why do you have to be so annoying, Cerulean? <sighs> Man. This is where, well, we'll see Moriyama just waves, mostly Kiba off and walks away. Those are Kiba nodded. Of course, he could not sense the, what's it called, serpent aura around mostly Moriyama. But those who were actually connected to water, or even ice or whatever, or very connected to that of the lava ice they heritage, uh, would actually be able to uh, all sense a powerful lava ice that's inside of well, Moriyama. Those who actually can sense it. But this is well, and those who also have a very strong dragon connection to their dragon nature can also sense easily powerful draconic energy and will always will, will always kind of submit to them. Well, mostly those who have powerful lineage to serpents or to dragons will always submit towards mostly either Issei or even Moriyama. The reason why is because with Issei being an ancient elder dragon, he has a command over lots of dragons, even those who are dragon gods. A bit, but not much. Now, of course, with Mosi, uh, uh, Mosi Mariyama, she has a connection with these, well, being stronger than that of even the dragon gods and even serpent gods. But yeah, that's where, well, she can easily rival anyone because she is an eldritch serpent. But yeah, an elder, well, Mosi an eldritch, yeah, eldritch serpent, don't worry about it. Pretty much a serpent that's actually able to rival even those of elder edge, uh, yeah, you get the point. But this is where, well, We'll see, both of them are walking away. But this is where, well, we'll see, uh, what's it called? Everyone, well, both of them are walking away from each other. And this is where Issei noticed, Son uh, well, not Sona, mostly noticed Kiba's and even Moriyama's presence. And he did notice that Moriyama had a very interesting aura to her. And of course, Moriyama noticed that Issei has a very interesting aura to him. This is where both of their personality might have changed throughout mostly this, like, summer year or might have been summer year who really knows when, when they unlock their powers but truly it could be easily has unlocked his through summer years and something might have happened while mostly moriyama might have had her power for a while and she can't really tell but this is where well she can't really tell for easily so of course while that happened we go into mostly a uh what's it called time skip uh, for the call, mostly the after, well, afternoon. Issei is yawning, and of course, he's thinking of going home until someone kind of goes up to him and bothers him. This is what, well, the person says, yeah, hello there. This is what, well, the person stutter out. This is where Issei turns around and says, can I help you? He noticed her real fast, her aura is actually that of a fallen angel. And this is where, well, she says, yeah. Other than that, this is where, well, mostly we go into mostly a, uh, Time skip for that. So other than that, bye, see you, yeah. Good night. Bye bye.